You are welcome to another video of Juniper Juno's associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper Unicast reverse pass forwarding feature, which is used to prevent IP spoofing attack. In IP spoofing attack, intruder tries to spoof the source IP address of the traffic in a way that it seems that the traffic comes from a legitimate source to bypass the firewall and security solutions, and it is usually used in denial of service attacks. To better understand how Unicast reverse pass forwarding feature works, let's first check what is IP spoofing. This is an enterprise network in which LAN and data center are connected to the internet through enterprise core. 192.168.1 is the IP address range of LAN network and 172.16.1 is the IP address range of data center network. LAN network is connected to the enterprise core through Gigabit Ethernet 1 and data center is connected to the enterprise core through Gigabit Ethernet 2 and interface Gigabit Ethernet 3 is to connect the network to the internet. Now, suppose that an attacker sent a traffic from the internet to the data center, but with the source IP address of 192.168.1, which is obviously a fake IP address, since the source of 192.168.1 is located in interface Giga Ethernet 1, but the traffic is received in Gigabit Ethernet 3. This is what we call a spoofing of the source IP address. An attacker changed the source IP address to show that it comes from a legitimate source so it can bypass firewall and filtering tools. A spoofing the source IP address is very normal in denial of service attacks. How we can detect that a packet is spoofed and how we can prevent packet spoofing. In this figure from human point of view it is completely obvious but let's check how a router or a firewall can detect and prevent IP spoofing attack. Packet spoofing is detected with the help of a routing table. As you can see in the routing table it knows that 192.168.1 and 172.16.1 is connected to Gigabit Ethernet 1 and Gigabit Ethernet 2 and the default route outgoing interface is Gigabit Ethernet 3. When a packet is received in the router, the source of the packet is checked with the routing table and the packet must be received in the outgoing interface of the active route for the source IP address. Otherwise, it will be discarded. In this example, the packet is received with the source of 192.168.1 and Gigabit Ethernet 1 is the outgoing interface of active route for the address 192.168.1 but the packet is received in Gigabit Ethernet 3 so this is an spoofing packet and will be discarded. This is exactly how Unicast RPF strict mode works. What we have explained is exactly Unicast reverse pass forwarding strict mode and is the default mode of RPF in Juniper devices. But there is another mode for Unicast RPF which is called loose mode in which outgoing interface is not important. And what is important is that there is a route for the source IP address and if there is no route for the source IP address, the packet will be discarded. In the example, LAN, data center and WAN with the IP address range 192.168.1, and 172.16.1 are connected in order to the interface Gigabit Ethernet 1, 2, and 3. A packet is received in interface Gigabit Ethernet 3 with the source address of 192.168.1. This packet will be 
permitted by Unicast RPF loose mode since there is a route for 192-168-1 in the routing table but this packet is discarded by Unicast RPF default a strict mode since the outgoing interface of the 192-168-1 is Gigabit Ethernet 1 but the packet is received in Gigabit Ethernet 3 Unicast RPF loose mode will permit all packets if there is a default route in the routing table since the route will match every packet with any source IP address in other words Unicast RPF loose mode is somehow useless when there is a default route in the routing table I pointed somehow since loose mode can discard packet with a source address pointing to the discard interface which is out of our discussion to enable Unicast RPF feature in any interface we use RPF check command for the strict mode and RPF check mode loose for the loose mode inside the interface context mode for example gigaton is zero unit zero family inet will use to enable RPF check with the RPF check command or RPF check mode loose command if a packet is received in an interface in which more than one route exists for the source of the packet then only the active route will be used to decide if packet will be discarded or allowed to be transmitted to better understand it in this figure a router receive a packet in interface giga Ethernet 1 with a source of 192.168.1 but in the routing table of the router there are two paths for 192.168.1 and giga Ethernet 2 is the active route by default this packet is discarded in a strict mode since only active route is the decision criteria for RPF checking with the command set routing options forwarding table unicast reverse pass active pass or feasible pass we can change the policy so that the feasible pass are also acceptable to RPF check this can be especially useful in networks with asymmetric routing. There is another feature in Juniper Reverse Pass Forwarding name Fail Filter to bypass Unicast RPF check for some traffic. These traffic don't pass RPF check, but they are legitimate. For example, the source of one DHCP packet is 0000 and the destination is 255 and so if this packet is received on an interface with RPF check then certainly it will be discarded but DHCP packet is a legitimate traffic to configure fail filter we have to first configure a firewall filter for example RPF special case DHCP to accept these special packets and then we apply it to the RPF check command RPF special case DHCP so these packet bypass RPF check and they will not be discarded